The ocean is like this pop tart. When the sunlight hits it, the particles heat up. I'll show you. A toaster works the same way. An electric coal gives off light and heats up the pop tart. The air inside is warmer than outside and the pop tart is even warmer than that. What this means is the sun he heats up the surface, then the air is heated from beneath. The seas around the equator, like the pop tart under this glass, heat up more because they are getting more sunlight. There. Kids, don't try this at home. These are solid molecules. They are frozen stuck to their neighbor, but they vibrate in their place. Density is how close together the molecules are. Liquids are less dense than solids. They flow to fill up gaps. Gas is less dense than liquid, and heat makes it expand more. It flows from high density to low density. That flow is the wind. Once upon a time, there was a warm wind near the equator, and cold air flew in the chillet. But the warm wind was strong where the sun beat down. It decided to ride the currents across the ocean to the sky in the north. But then, the globe tricked the wind by turning underneath it. Everywhere it went, its gold drifted away to one side. The wind spun out of control, becoming Hurricane Frida. The people saw Frida gathering and tried their best to prepare, but they were too late to evacuate. The people had nowhere to stay. They were flooding all around and no one had any power. Frida kept heading north. But Frida saw all the destruction this anger caused and got a chill as it swept over the land. Frida's temper was cooling to slow down. Frida's dark clouds fizzled into a heavy summer rain, drifting slowly to the north. Frida made it to the calm sky it was looking for, but for the people who were in its path, the world would never be the same. So, any questions? Why does a hurricane swim? Why does a hurricane have an eye? A hurricane is essentially many thunderstorms spinning in different directions. Just like this roundabout. <laughs> This pop tart is like a hurricane. It's hard to fly through. <laughs> Scientists take satellite pictures of storms, but that doesn't show them the location or the strength of the hurricane. They need to use a special plane that can crisscross through the storm and experience cross cutting winds that would tear any other airplane apart. In doing this, they collect data by dropping sonde devices that measure wind speed and help forecasters predict the path of the hurricane and get some amazing videos in the process. But finally, when they reach the eye of the storm, it's a humbling sight of calm. Experiencing the beauty of a natural phenomenon and being able to capture its essence is truly amazing.